Well, we had a bit of a panic attack. And unfortunately, I didn't get on film, and fortunately, everything's okay. Rusty Co. comes through. Michael, the man who owns Rusty Co., or runs it, I'm not sure which it is, assured me it won't eat the paint. That's what he says. I've heard that before. <laughs> Have I heard that before? And it usually eats the paint. But, as you saw the other day, we put the 38 tank. That's the one tank up there on the shelf. Right next to Greeny's tank. With some uh, Rustico inside of it. And we had a little bit of overfill on purpose. I did that on purpose because I forgot to get all the gas out of it by blowing that with the air on the one side. And so when we overfilled it, these gas caps have vent. And the reason why we're moving the shop is because we are in a tin building. Big tin, not insulated building. Uh, and my landlord, uh, instead of going, hey, yeah, oh, yeah, whoa, cool, man. Put 50 grand in my building. I'll write you a good lease because I got to do it anyhow. Won't do that. So <clears throat> what happened is we got the right tank here airing out with our worm gear drive air compressor that can run for ever without blowing up like a piston air compressor, worm, worm gear drive. And I had Rusty Co. all down the side, all over here. <laughs> In black thick streaks, like, oh my God, I ate the paint, oh fuck. Massive panic. Uh, <clears throat> so, Wolfie wasn't here, she's driving. So I rush, rush, rush. And I got everything nice and hot with the air compressor, uh, with the steam cleaner. And I heated up the, uh, and blew out the insides, heated it all up. And uh, then I carefully sprayed it off with the water and rubbed it with my hand and didn't eat the paint. So we're going to, uh, I, I can't do this by myself too well, but I'll do the best I can. But the, the time, these chemicals have time limits of when they need to be utilized. Now's the time to get the stuff out. gas caps are vented, so it went out the vent and over to the side of that tank. Ah. We're going to pull this camera back here, so it's hopefully out of danger. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to steam clean the inside of the tank to get the rusty coat out and any residual rust out of the tank. Same thing I did on Greenie's tanks, except uh, this is the first time I've had the magic stuff go over the side of the tank and on the paint. And I can't tell you how many chemical companies have assured me, oh, my stuff doesn't eat paint, oh no. Well, this is the first time I've ever actually had it on a real painted surface. and. Oh my God, what panic. I, I wish I had it on camera, it all turned out good, but I, I didn't. 
I was, I was too freaked out to even bother thinking about getting the camera. So, but anyhow, it's all, it's all fixed. Oh my God, what a freak out.
Okay. All's well that ends well. We still got to get the uh, set cock out and go through it. But one thing at a time, meanwhile, we don't want rust to set back in the tank. So we're going to come back over here and put an airline into that gas tank there to blow off the outside. What that little air compressor does over here is it's got a refrigeration unit inside of it because compressed air is always hot. Hot air is always moist. And the refrigeration unit refrigerates the air, pumps out any water outside the air compressor onto the ground outside over here. And voila, when I'm done, I won't have any rust in my tank. So, in uh, Rusty Show held true to the word, we didn't hurt our paint. Thank God for that massive panic attack. So I'm going to take the air blower uh, and blow the outside, the water outside of the tank. We've got the pet cock out of the right tank, which was working, and the left tank, I've never put gas in it. It was bone dry when I got the bike and had a little bit of rust in it. So, to make sure everything's juicy, I need to pull the pet cock apart on the tank and then unscrew it, which is going to have to heat up the tank, which means more hot water. Uh, heat up the tank, re-blow dry it again, like, just so I can get the pet cock out so I can rebuild the tank. So um, that's the process. It's uh, time consuming, so off we go. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I wish now you guys could have seen me panic with the tank. It would have been funny. I would have had another parody video on that one. But uh, I was in such a panic attack, I, I forgot to get the video going. So anyhow, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.